హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ రావన్ దిస్ ఈజ్ మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ట్యూటోరియల్ బై శ్రావన్ టు సబ్స్క్రైబ్ మై ఛానల్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ బటన్ అండ్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ బెల్ ఐకాన్ ఫర్ మోర్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ అప్డేట్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో లెక్చర్ ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ జీ ప్లస్ టూ బిల్డింగ్ విత్ పెంట్ హౌస్ బై యూజింగ్ స్టార్ట్ ప్రో విఐట్ ఏ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ స్టార్ట్ ప్రో సాఫ్ట్వేర్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ న్యూ ప్రాజెక్ట్ సెలెక్ట్ స్పేసింగ్ గీ ద స్ట్రక్చర్ నేమ్ జస్ట్ ఐమ్ అజూమింగ్ ద స్ట్రక్చర్ నేమ్ ఈస్ బీ సేవ్ యువర్ ఫైవ్ లొకేషన్ జస్ట్ ఐమ్ సేవింగ్ మై ఫైవ్ లొకేషన్ టు డెస్క్ టాప్ పెంట్ హౌస్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ ఓకే so here we need to select the length in its will be in meter as well as 4 units will be in kilonewton as per the indian standard code click on next button click on finish button so the software will be open like this so it will be consisting of 10 number of grids in x direction 10 number of grids in uh, y direction so we need to go to uh, geometry directly click on run structure wizard so here we need to select the model type initially just i am selecting model type as frame models so here we need to select the bay frame initially so just i am assuming length of the building is uh, 10 meter so for this case just i will assume ground story initially so after that uh, modeling of the ground story i will copy the ground story to remaining stories so just i am assuming height of the building is 3 just i am assuming width of the building is 19 meter so here we need to enter the number of base along length direction just i am assuming as 2 number of base along height direction just i am assuming as 1 number of base along width direction just i am assuming as 5 so after that we need to enter the uh, node to node distance in uh width direction so just click on this uh, three dots so here we need to enter the length values just i am assuming length of the first bay is four second bay is four third bay is four fourth bay is four fifth bay just i am assuming as three click on ok button so after that click on apply button so the model will be open like this so it will be consisting of ground story the uh, 10 meter is the length as well as 19 meter is the width 3 meter is the height just we need to import this respective model from structure wizard software to stand pro vi ti software so click on cancel button click on s button so click on ok the model is uh, uh, imported from respected structure wizard software to stand pro vi ti software so after that we, we need to click on hide snap node grid so after this we need to add the lift portion for this building so for that initially we need to create the node point so for that select a beam just click on insert node as we need to enter the distance just i'm assuming distance will be 3 add new point click on okay so after that we need to select this respective beam number 41 so after that click on insert node so just we need to assume the distance just i'm assuming the distance as 2 click on okay button so it will uh, create the two node points for this respective uh, lift portion so after that we need to copy the respective node point for this direction also so for that go to select your respective node point just i'm selecting node point this so after that uh, select select this node point is so after that click on copy button paste nodes which is at a distance of minus x uh, minus 2 click on ok so it will copy the respective node points to this direction so after that we need to copy the respective three node points in downward direction for the respective ground floor so for that select three node points click on copy button paste beams of uh, paste node points so which is at a distance of minus 3 click on ok so it will copy the respective node points to the respective downward portion so for this respective node points we need to add beams initially so further click on add beam command select first beam select second beam select first beam again select second beam again so after that we need to add the uh, shear wall section for this respective lift portion so for that go to select your add surface command select the first node point again select second node point select third node point select fourth node point again come to first node point so it will create the uh, surface like this so for select first node point select second node point select third node point select fourth node point again come to the first point select first node point select second node point again select third node point again select fourth node point again again come to the first point for this respective building so after that we need to add the slab portion for this respective building so for that go to click on four node plate select first node point select second node point select third node point select fourth node point so after that we need to add the uh, slab section for the remaining portion click on four node plate again again we need to add the four node plate for this respective uh, building just i'm selecting four node plate like this so after that we need to add the four node plate for this section also so for that initially we need to create one node point for this respective beam for that go to click on insert node which is at a distance of uh, 3 meter just we need to assume as 3 meter click on add button click on okay so it will add the node point like this so go to four node plate again so select first node point second node point third node point fourth node point select first node point select second node point 
select third node point select fourth node point again first node point again select second node point again select third node point again select fourth node point so i will left this respective portion for the staircases purpose so so that's why it is not required to add the four node plate for this respective section so i will show you this respective ground floor model in 3d rendering view initially so this is my 3d rendering view for the respected uh, ground story building so we need to copy the respected ground story building to the remaining uh, two stories so further go to select all control a button go to transitional repeat in y direction here i am selecting number of steps are two each step will be consisting of three meter width click on link steps click on okay so it will copy the respected ground story to the remaining stories so after that we need to copy the slab section as well as the plate section to the remaining stories so further go to select the four node plate select all the four node plates at the base go to transitional repeat again again in y direction the number of steps are two each step will be consisting of three click on link steps click on okay again we need to select the uh, surface cursor again i am selecting surfaces at the bottom select in y direction number of steps are two each step will be consisting of three meter again click on link steps click on okay so after that we need to create the penthouse for this respective building so for that keep your structure in front view initially go to cut section command click on selective view click on ok cut the top story for the respected building click on 3d view again so again we need to add the uh, node points for this uh, respected building so after this we need to connect this respective node points by using beams in x direction y direction as well as z direction so initially we need to keep the structure in front uh, top view select all the node points at the bottom as well as top section so after that 3d select in 3d view go to geometry connect the beams along x direction so it will copy 2 now 12 and 22 number of beams are created here so go to geometry again connect the beams again along y direction so it will create 16 number of beams here go to geometry again connect the beams again click in z direction so it will create 22 number of beams in z direction also so after that we need to add the slab portion for this respective top section so for that go to uh, select in a uh, front view click on uh, cut section command again click on selective view click on ok cut the top portion for this respective building keep your structure in 3d view again again click on four node plate select first node point again select second node point again select third node point again select fourth node point again select first node point again select second node point again select third node point again select fourth node point so in the same way we need to add the four node plate for this respective portion next i am adding the four node plate for this respective portion like this So after that click on uh, all structure command for this respective building so after that we need to copy the uh, lift portion for this respective building for that go to select surface cursor keep structure in front of you select all the surfaces at the uh, second story go to transitional repeat again again in y direction number of steps are one each step will be consisting of three meter click on link steps again click on ok so it will copy the respective uh, lift portion from the respective ground story to remaining stories now i will show you this respective model in 3d rendering view click on 3d rendering view so this is my 3d rendering view for this respective building so it will be consisting of g plus two story building along with the penthouse so we need to design this respective uh, building by using snap pro software so initially we need to add the properties for this respective building so further click on modeling click on general button so here we need to add the beam size column size as well as slab thickness just i am assuming rectangular section of beam so it will be consisting of 0 0.3 by 0 0.4 is the beam size click on add button so after that we need to assume the column size just i am assuming 0 0.4 by 0 0.4 is my column size click on add button so after that we need to add the slab thickness as well as the surface thickness for this respective building click on thickness just i am assuming plate thickness will be consisting of 0 0.125 click on add button so after that we need to assume the surface thickness for this respected building click on thickness again again click on surface thickness just i am assuming thickness will be consisting of 120 mm click on add button click on close button so select 0.3 by 0.4 nothing but beam go to select option beams parallel to x direction go to select option beams parallel to z direction click on assign to select beams assign yes so after that select 0.4 by 0.4 go to select option again again beams parallel to y direction click on assign to selected beams assign yes so after that select plate thickness click on assign to view assign yes so after that select the surface thickness for this respected building click on assign to view assign yes now i will show you this respective model in 3d rendering view again click on 3d rendering view 
so this is my 3d rendering view for this respected uh, g plus 2 building with penthouse so it will be consisting of uh, 0 0.3 by 0 0.4 is beam 0 0.4 by 0 0.4 is column and slab thickness will be consisting of 125 mm and surface thickness will be consisting of 120 mm so after that we need to assign the supports for this respected building go to supports again so so click on supports so click on create button select support to select all the node points at the base click on assign to selected nodes assign yes so it will assign the respected uh, fixer support at the base so after that we need to assign the load cases for this building go to load cases and definitions so for this respected g plus 2 building with penthouse just i am assuming dead load live load as well as floor load go to load case and details click on add button so here we need to add the dead load initially we need to give the title as dl click on add so after that we need to assume the live load so we need to give this respective model by ll so after that select the roof life for this respective building nothing but floor load click on add button so after that click on close button go to select the dead load for this respective building click on add so add your self weight for this respective building so after that select live load click on add button so here we need to assign the uh, live load for this respective building by using floor load click on floor load case so here we need to assume the pressure value intensity for this respective building just i am assuming live load will be consisting of uh, minus 3 which is acting at a distance of 3 meter as well as uh, 12 meter click on add button click on close button so after that select floor load this time assuming floor load will be consisting of minus 1.5 which is acting at a distance of 3 again 12 click on ok so click on close button select your self weight click on assign to view assign yes so after that we need to assign the materials go to materials option click on concrete material click on assign to view assign yes so it will assign the concrete for this respective building so after that go to analysis and print click on add button close button go to analyze again click on run analysis click on save button so the model will be checked for the zero errors so if you done with zero errors then our model is correct for analysis so we need to proceed for the respective design So here my model is observed with zero errors. Go to post processing mode, click on done button. So apply your all load cases, click on OK. So this is the deflection diagram for this respected building due to presence of the dead load case. So after that, this is the deflection for this respected building due to presence of the live load case. So deflection due to presence of the flow load case. Go to select beam cursor, deselect the MZ value, select FY value. So this is the shear force diagram due to presence of the dead load case. Select LL. So this is the shear force diagram due to presence of live load case. So this is a shear force diagram for the respective building due to presence of the floor load case. So after that click on MZ value, deselect the FY value. So this is the deflection diagram. Uh, this is the bending movement diagram for the building due to presence of the dead load case. So select uh, load case as live load. So select live load case as floor load. So this is the bending movement diagram. So after that go to select plate load, click on uh, maximum absolute pressure, click on apply, click on OK. So this is the maximum absolute pressure for this respective building. So after that select surface load again, again select the surface, maximum absolute pressure here, click on apply, click on ok. So this is the surface pressure for this respective building. So after that we need to see the deflection diagram for this respective building. So for that go to animation, click on say deflection, click on apply, click on ok. So this is the deflection due to presence of the floor load case for the building. So this is the deflection for the dead load case. So this is the deflection due to presence of the live load case. So after that we need to design this respective building by using uh, IS456-2000 code go to modeling again click on design so here we need to select the concrete design for this respective modeling so here we need to add the current code just we need to change the ACI code to IS456 code so after that we need to select the parameters like compressive strength, yield strength and yield strength of shear reinforcement so just initially deselect the respected parameters so after that from this respected deselected parameters we need to pick compressive strength, yield strength and yield strength of shear reinforcement. Click on OK button, click on define button. So for this building, just I am assuming uh, M40 grade concrete, nothing but 40,000. Click on add button. So FI main reinforcement is 600 grade, 600, 1, 2, 3, 600,000. 
so select section reinforcement just i'm assuming 600000 again click on add button so click on close button go to commands again so here we need to select the design beam command so after that select design column command slab element command again click on take off command click on add click on close so after that we need to assign the respected question marks for the respected building select fck a value fc for 40000 click on assign to view assign yes select fy 6 600000 select assign to view assign yes so select fy section enforcement click on assign to view assign yes select beam go to select option beams parallel to x direction go to select option again beams parallel to z direction click on assign to selected beams assign yes again go to select the column command go to select option beams parallel to y direction click on assign to selected beams assign yes so after that go to select plate element command click on assign to view assign yes so after that we need to analyze the respective building for the design purpose go to analysis and print click on add click on close go to analyze again click on run analysis save it so here again we need to check for the zero errors for the respected design also so here my model is checking for the zero errors So here my model is observed with zero errors. Go to post processing mode again. Click on done button again. So go to beam again. Deselect the bending moment diagram. Select any one of the beam from this respected uh, building. Just I am selecting beam number 215. Just double click on it. Click on concrete design. So this is the concrete design for this respected beam. So it will be consisting of 11, ba 11 bars of 10 mm dia. 270 center to center distance is the top reinforcement. 11 bars of 10 mm dia. 30 center to center distance is the bottom reinforcement. Click on close button. So after that click on uh, select beam, just I am selecting beam number 239, just double click on it, click on concrete design. So this is the concrete design for the respected 0.4 by 0.4 column. So it will be consisting of 8 bars of 12 mm dia, HT required is uh, 81 mm square, click on close. So after that we need to see the output file for this respective design. So click on start output file. So it will generate the start output file like this. So it will be consisting of beam design results as well as column design results and each and individual calculations for the respected slab also. So this is the process analysis and designing of building with the penthouse by using StatPro V8 software. Thank you.